My name is Brett Ransom, missionary to Ethiopia with the Pentecostal Church of God uh, for about uh, two years now. And we are just uh, working on uh, reaching into unreached areas and discipling new believers in Ethiopia. I think my, really when I began to feel called to missions is uh, when a missionary by the name of Carl Hargestam came to our church and he was preaching about the work he was doing in Ethiopia. And at the end, he made a, a call uh, for people to come up front. And um, we, we didn't feel called to missions at the time, but felt like God was compelling us to go forward. And, and when he prayed for us, we just really were touched in our spirit and felt that a seed was planted that day that grew over a number of years and brought us to the place where we are today. I mean, it was over a number of years. Uh, we continued to serve faithfully in the church where we were at. We felt God was beginning to speak to us about Africa, but um, it was it would kind of occurred over a number of years, and uh, it went from we felt like we would be in Africa someday to the time he began to get closer, and we began to feel God um, telling us to prepare, and so we got our affairs in order and did everything we could to make it possible for us to go and. And then uh, just about that time, um, we had the opportunity to be a part of a new missions program called Mission 111. And that trained us and helped boost us and send us out so that we could start doing missions. I think initially when we told uh, my wife's parents and my parents, they were um, shocked. Um, but, they, but they also understood that God had called us and, and uh, have been some of our greatest supporters as we've done this. Well, I had been to Ethiopia twice before, um, we, before we came as a family. And so for me, um, I had gone through some of the culture shock. I mean, whenever you uh, uh, go from a country you've lived in your whole life to a country that's completely different, um, there's a real period of adjustment and also being separated from family is a big adjustment. And so I think um, my wife and my children probably had the, the biggest shock because the first time they went uh, to Ethiopia was for a year. Uh, so, <laughs> so it took them um, a while to adjust to everything and, and get used to life, but we did very well. And uh, yeah, God really helped us to do what we need to do. Um, YU has a special place in my heart because um, a partner of mine, Nick Sartoris, had, had made an attempt to, uh, to get in um, to this area to see it um, because we had heard that it was unreached, that, the, that there was no church, that there was, the people were um, completely isolated and, and unaware of the gospel of Christ. And, and then him and I together tried a, a different road in a different way and weren't able to get in. Uh, because of a number of, of obstacles. And so uh, our original plan was to go to a different um, area and, and God really closed that door and, and we just really believe that this is the time and, and this was the uh, purpose for God uh, for YU during this time. So I'm very excited um, to have been here and to start what God, God is doing and excited about what he'll do in the future here. I really want to see um, a church here. I want to see uh, that people really uh, go from a, a place of making a decision that I believe in Jesus to disciples who are reaching other YU, uh, reaching into even other areas of Barana. Um, I'm really believing that God will give us um, a foundation here that, that can spread into some other areas in, in the southern Ethiopian area. And also I would like, I, I believe that when the gospel comes, the blessing of God comes, and I, I'd like to see the area uh, have some development and, and see the people um, just enjoy some of the things that, that I believe God has for them. So I really feel like um, being a part of these missions teams that go into these unreached areas and um, preach the gospel and give it to them in a, in a format that, that's easy for them to understand and easy for them to, to make a decision and understand what Jesus has done. But the importance of follow-up um, is really in my heart that we can really see uh, disciples that are made. And to me, I feel like um, we need to continue to 
um, teach and raise up leaders in, in the areas where we have missions teams go, uh, where the Mission 111 teams are going, but also um, partnering with local churches, partnering with um, local ministers um, to see them catch the vision and or um, carry the vision. So I feel like that's a very important part too. Uh, yeah, the flies are everywhere all the time. Um, definitely an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> I know they were good a minute ago. <laughs> I know, they know we don't have our bottles. 